Did God create evil? Does the Bible say so? By Rich Dean introduction one of the most common reasons skeptics reject the existence of God is due to the presence of evil in this universe. They reason that a perfect God would not create a universe in which evil exists. Skeptics claim that since God created everything that God must have also created evil. They even cite Bible verses, such as, Form the light, and create darkness, I make peace, and create evil, I the Lord do all these things. Isaiah 45-7, KJV Hall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord hath not done it? Amos 3-6, KJV at of the mouth of the Most High proceedeth not evil and good. Lamentations 3 to 38 However, evil is not really a created thing. You can see, touch, feel, smell or hear evil. It is not one of the fundamental forces of physics, nor does it consist of matter, energy, or the spatial dimensions of the universe. Still, skeptics like to claim that God created evil and cite the Bible to prove their point. The Bible is quite clear that God is not the author of evil and insists that he is incapable of doing so one. Love that King James translation. Skeptics love the KJV so much, one would think that they were still back in medieval England. Use of this translation is problematic these days, since it uses an archaic version of modern English, which doesn't necessarily mean the same things today as when it was translated over 400 years ago. In addition, the KJV was produced using a limited number of medieval manuscripts that did not represent the earliest Alexandrian set of manuscripts. What do the modern translations say? He won forming light and creating darkness, causing well-being and creating calamity. I am the Lord who does all these. Isaiah 45-7, Nas Nas form the light and create darkness, I bring prosperity and create disaster. I, the Lord, do all these things. Isaiah 45-7, NIV Isaiah 45-7 contrasts opposites. Darkness is the opposite of light. However, evil is not the opposite of peace. The Hebrew word translated peace is shalom, too which has many meanings, mostly related to the well-being of individuals. Ra? A-H. 3. The Hebrew word translated evil in the KJV often refers to adversity or calamity. There are two forms of the word. Strong's H7451 a most often refers to moral evil, whereas Strong's H7451b the form used here most often refers to calamity or distress. Obviously, calamity is a better antonym of peace than evil. Amos 3-6 if a trumpet is blown in a city will not the people tremble? If a calamity occurs in a city has not the Lord done it? Amos 3-6, Nas Nas Pen a trumpet sounds in a city, do not the people tremble? When disaster comes to a city, has not the Lord caused it? Amos 3-6, NIV likewise, Amos 3-6 uses the same word, raw? A-H, referring to calamity or disaster. The context of disaster happening to a city does not refer to moral evil. Lamentations 3 to 38. Is it not from the mouth of the Most High that both calamities and good things come? Lamentations 3 to 38. NIV. Is it not from the mouth of the Most High that both good and ill go forth? Lamentations 3 to 38. Nas Nas the King James version of Lamentations 3 to 38 seems to suggest that God speaks both good and evil. However, if one reads the verse in context, the preceding verses indicate that God does not do or approve of evil for the verse following indicates that people should not complain in view of their sins. 5 What the verse really is saying that God decrees times of good things and times of judgment. Lamentations was written by Jeremiah during a time of judgment, when Judah had gone off into exile. Jeremiah was chosen by God to be the prophet to tell Judah to reform or be judged. The people did not believe Jeremiah, and, therefore, fell under God's judgment. In Lamentations 3-38, the word translated good is T. O.B. Strong's H2896.6 The word usually refers to good things 5 as opposed to bad things. Again, raw? 
AH3 does not refer to moral evil, but calamities, in this verse. Likewise, the Bible commentaries indicate that the verse refers to God's judgment based upon people's sin 7. Conclusion God is not the author of evil 8 however, God does reward and punish on the basis of good and bad behavior. Therefore, God does bring judgment and calamity either directly or through human authorities on those who rebel 9 God will ultimately judge all people, since rebels will not be allowed in the new, perfect creation. Will you trust Jesus Christ now as your personal Savior? If you will do so, 